It's the Ask Rhea Show, coming to you live with life, love, and the supernatural. From the real lifestyle of the rich and famous to the Cupid of love or the untold stories of supernatural. Get it all right here on the Ask Rhea Show. Now, here's Rhea. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take an, um, an old wig, like one that's you know, really fuzzy and um, getting really thick at the ends. I'll show you how to, show, how to do it into a, a new wig. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I've already washed it, so I'm just going to lay it on the little ironing board. I'm going to brush it out. Out of it. <clears throat> Just getting over a cold, so forgive me. The cough or sneeze a little. So once I brush it out, I'm going to section it. Baby oil. Um, it's in a gel, and I just put a little bit in my hands, not much. I rub it around, and I rub it on there. And not only it smells like cocoa butter. <coughs> Excuse me so much. And then I'm going to take an iron. I'm going to press it down. I'm going to press it until it gets <coughs> nice and flat. All the cakes are out. And you may want to make sure that it's on the highest level. Just repeat that until you get the flat things that you want. Check your hair, make sure it doesn't start to get, um, I feel like, burnt spots on it because that means that your hair cannot be, cannot handle heat. <coughs> so it's almost there. Let's get my hands more. Small that is. So now you can see that it's actually really nice compared to what it was. So let's compare this part to this part. <clears throat> Look at this. How you know rough and tough that is. It's this. Okay, so we did one side of it. 
just go back over that side one more time. I like to make sure mine is really, really flat. And the sections, make sure you don't gather other pieces of hair in your sections. Because then you're pretty much going to start all over with that piece. And when you've got it where you want it to be, then you can go to the next section. your ends you can. I cut my ends at the end, but this is the time if you want to cut your ends you can. But as you can see, it's very good, it's straight, it's not kinky, and it's shiny. So <clears throat> we're gonna keep this one and we're gonna go to another section of it. so you don't have to take all the curls out. So on the head part, you're actually gonna you know, just go over it. Not really do anything, but just go over it. Just kind of get it to lay down. And the back, just turn it around. Do the same thing, just kind of go over it. Once you got 
got it to where I didn't want it to be. Get those rough looking parts off of it. Then you can actually curl it yourself. So you want more curls, I'll show you how to put the curls in there. So from the beginning of it. Start however you want your curls, hold it over or under, it doesn't really matter. Now what we're going to take are the sponge rollers. This is the regular sponge rollers. We're going to roll it. Because we're not going to set these to sit down here to, you know, wait for them to curl like this, I call it boiling. I boil my hair. So put this back together. And as long as it's on the um, curler, it doesn't matter how. So all you're looking for is to go. Okay, so now we have all the curlers in. You can see it's all the way around at the back. Like I said, it doesn't matter how much you put in there or you know how you put it in there because it's not going to be contingent upon uh, these curlers anyway. These curlers are just to keep the curls in the style that you want them in and how big or round your curls can be. So I kind of spaced it out in some areas, but I don't like hair all curly all over. So I kind of spaced it out around here but I made sure I curled it everywhere. So now we're gonna to go to the boiling stage and instant curls are gonna come out, permanent instant curls. So that you saw the ironing, you saw the rolling, now you're about to see the boiling. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're at the boiling stage. Okay, so see how I said we had the curlers and the water is really hot. Um, got the curlers all around. They're everywhere on the wig. And you're gonna take the wig in the middle. Like, hold it from the inside. Like, put your fingers in there. Just gonna hold it like that. And then we're just gonna dip it. No, it's gonna go over. Gonna dip it in the water. And I normally get like, um, probably just a spatula and just put it in there, make sure it's in there, just right, make sure you actually put it in the pot, get a little wet in there, and all of them are getting wet, so technically almost the whole plate goes in, as long as they touch the water. Thank you. 
Just making sure everything is going to touch it. You don't want to cut your water off yet, so just in case one of them didn't curl, you keep your water hot and you can come back and do it again. Pat them down, pat them down. And you want to leave them sitting for about, I would say, 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, you can take them out, you have permanent curls. You can actually take them out now and it will you know, still be curly, but it won't be a tight curl. So you want your tight curls. You just fold it like that, keep it like that for 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, we're gonna be right back. Okay, so now, 20 minutes later, we're gonna take them out. Let's flip it over so we can fold it. Okay, they're looking great. They are still shiny. Let's take them out. Oh, and look at that curl. It is the bounciest, bounciest curl. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take all of these out. And just watch how beautiful this is. And you can use these curlers over and over again as I do. And I just um, think after the while start to fall apart. Eventually, you've got to get some new ones. But in the meantime, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. And if your curls, once we get these all out, it'll determine if we can turn the pot off or not. So we like to boil in hot water. And these curls will last for about almost a month. Not longer, depending on how you take care of them. And you can re repeat this process as many times as you want to with, with the uh, iron, the baby oil, and um, the rollers. As many times as you want to, um, just to in start getting, you know, coursed again, and you can repeat it again. Instead of having to always go out and buy a new wig all the time, this is actually how you take care of yours. Put the curls in yours, and you can do this with any wig. As far as curling, this is how I curl any lace wig that I buy. I um. I do the rollers and I curl it myself how I want it. If I get straight hair, I hate straight hair. I can't stand straight hair because I don't like hair on my face. So um, I'll end up curling it or doing something like that with it. I'll get one more. I cannot stand hair on my face. Okay, but I get that from my mom. Okay, as you can see, let's put the camera up. Son. Okay, as you can see, 
Um, there are so many curls in it. The curls are beautiful. See how curly that is? Beautiful, beautiful. And that's how you curl your hair and straighten your hair. So, you saw how we did the ironing to straighten it out, the baby oil, get it to shine, and the rollers and the boiling, how to boil your hair to give it the curls. Look at those beautiful, bouncy curls. Beautiful, bouncy curls. So, that's how you do your hair when you want to redo it and thank you for watching my channel if you like it make sure you subscribe and like it and leave a comment if you want to thanks again bye bye